Merry Christmas, Debra. Hey y'all. Oh my God. Hey y'all. Welcome and welcome back. E B R A to the A. This is the second time. This is no. This is the fifteenth time. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing assumptions, the assumptions tag. <sighs> I really can't believe what some of you guys said about me, but that's okay, that's okay. It's just assumptions, not the real facts. So I'm here to clarify those assumptions and tell you the real thing. <sighs> Let's get it with the chant. Hey, it's D-E-B-R-A to the H-M-O. M O A, it's D E B R A to the H M O, M O. So yeah, let's get right into the video. I'll be reading these from my iPad, and I have about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, or twenty-one. Okay. The first assumption says, "I assume you are kind. You are a, or a kind person." I think I am kind, so I would like to believe that's true, yet spot on. Then number two, I assume that you are you are a helpful person. <laughs> I can't read. I assume that you are a helpful person. Yes. Um number three says I think you're all about the bag and securing the bag. Yes, yes, for sure. I am all about securing the bag. You know, I mean this is this is a one man's world. You better secure your bag, honey. <laughs> Number four says you are a baddie. If that's what you think, then woo, let's go right with it. Number five says you look like a person who was grown up in a rich household, like a rich kid type of vibe. I see myself as just a normal person from a normal household just I wouldn't seem I wouldn't call myself a rich kid or that I came from a rich ho household because that's just that's just no but okay then the next one says I believe that you are the smartest kid in class or super smart no, 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 no. Maybe I'll be number one in one subject, but right now this is varsity. I feel like, whoo, not anymore, but I'm doing good. I'm doing all right, okay? I'm still, you know, I'm still, you know, passing, but not the smartest kid at all. Um, The next one says, you are big-headed. No, I'm just a decent, I'm just, you know, calm. I'm just, no, not big headed at all. I listen to people. I, I'm not always right. I'm just, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, this, 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 I think this was a joke. The next one, I think the next one, whoever wrote this was, you know, trying to just, you know, just fluffs. So let, let, let me read it out. I assume that you went... Oh my God, the camera just cut on me. Just like that. I don't even know what happened. But back at it. Um, yeah. This one says, I assume you went to be a stripper in China. <laughs> so I'd cross oceans, pay for flights, do all that, and just to come and be a stripper. No, I'm not a stripper in China, okay? I'm in university slash college, okay? Yeah. The next one says, you love getting your way. I mean, who doesn't like getting that way? But, you know, I do, you know, like, listen to people. Like I said before, with the big-headed thing, I'm just, 
a nice person. It's not that I love getting my way. Okay, never. Then, I assume that you are a mean girl. I'm literally just an average girl nothing special about me okay i am a special individual okay hallelujah but i'm not a mean girl i'm just a normal person i'm nice to people okay i say hi i say goodbye i'm really respectful and nice i'm not a mean girl at all i okay the next one says i assume that you are focused in university whoever sent this in i love you <laughs> I think I'm focused, okay? That's why I still haven't dropped out, which is a miracle. Thank you, Lord. And then the next one says, um, you are financially literate. Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of, in a way. You could say so. You could say so. The other one says, you are a foodie. Need you thou. You know for sure. I love food. Then the next one says, uh, Dior. Shh. The next one says, I assume you are lesbian. Um, I am not lesbian. So that i'm not lesbian then the next one says you have traveled to many countries not really many but not that much but still a couple like a few countries um how many let me try to count maybe less than 10 or close to 10 or a little bit above 10 somewhere there um the next one says you cannot survive without makeup. I think this video just, you know, terminates, defiles everything, you know, destroys your theory, your belief. Because <laughs> I'm always online without makeup. I'm always at school without makeup. I'm always at the mall without makeup. Literally everywhere without makeup. So, yes, I can survive without makeup. Um, the next one says, I assume you are religious and Christian. Um, no, I'm not particularly religious. I don't know why people call it, like, call, like, belonging to a religion or having a certain belief. Like, why do people deem it as religious? Like, oh my God, you're so religious. It's not like that. I'm a Christian, but I wouldn't classify myself as, oh my God, I'm so religious, holier than thou, amen. No, it's just, I believe that God is Christ. That's what I believe. But don't deem me as like a religious person. Like, I don't like the title of, like, that sound. I mean, the sound of that. <laughs> the sound of that. I just, it doesn't sit well with me. Like, oh my God, you're so religious. Go by. Then, I assume you love alcohol. No, sister, I don't. I love God. <laughs> <laughs> I love securing the bag. That's what I love. I love human beings. I love my family. Okay, and my dog. That's what I love. Not alcohol for sure. I assumed at first glance that you're Tanzanian. From my pictures on Instagram, by the way. This person is saying this from Instagram. Um, really? Do I look Tanzanian? Really? Because I haven't seen that. But no, I'm not Tanzanian. I am a Motswana from Southern Africa in Africa. So, no. That's the end of the assumptions. I, th I hope I said them all because, uh, yeah, I hope I didn't miss any. That's the end of the assumptions tag. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video.